Hello, welcome to this Dr. Spotfire quick tip video. I am Jose Leveguirre from Spotfire and today I'm going to talk about a useful data functions to interactively draw territories on a map. I saw this article and it goes into details on how to create that uh, bounding polygon around the selected data points on a map. It's only a three minute read. It goes in detail, includes data functions and everything. And this is the final result. So I have my map. I draw or I select something from the center, a certain radius. It runs a data function and then it runs the surrounding polygon. So I have the data here. It can be any data as long as we have the latitude and longitude. Look, you can see the, the position, the coordinate systems there. It's one of the, my input parameters for my data function. Copy and paste in Spotfire. I am going to do paste from clipboard and done. There we go. Okay, I have my data table brought in. Now I'm going to add a map. Okay, I'm going to close this for now to have a larger view of my map. And the next step is to create the data function. So my data function is down here. I'm going to copy the contents of this data function and use it in Spotfire. So I go to Spotfire, go to data, and then data function properties, and I'm going to register a new data function. This script is in R and I'm going to paste the code right here. And this code is also available in the description of, of this video. So now the next step, I'm going to use one of these icons. I'm going to use the uh, spatial icon and then I'm going to name this. I'm going to call it like this and I can put a description. Next step is to set up the input parameters. The input parameters are going to be these ones. So it has lat vect and lon vect. So these are vectors, these are columns. So let's go back to my data function and call the lat ve vector is going to be a column and the lon vector is another input parameter. I'm gonna call it lon dot vec, all data types and it's going to be a column and we're done with the input parameters. And the output parameter is a polygon table. So the output parameter is going to be this and it's going to be a table. It's important that you match this name because it has to match with the script itself. That will be the output parameter. So now I'm ready to go and let's give it a try. I'm going to run it and I'm going to define my input and output parameters. Input parameters for latitude is coming from that table, the census, and is the latitude. Okay, it's gonna be based on marking. And the next one is similar. No, sorry, for the, yeah, for the, for this other parameter, it's going to be the longitude. And finally, same based on marking. And finally, my output parameter, which is going to return a data table that is called polygon table. And I'm going to make sure that every time I make a selection is going to run automatically. So mark, check that box, click OK, and my data function is ready to go. Now, we still, uh, we can ignore this. We, oh, I can save it to the library or not. I already have it uh, stored in the library. Next time, the, if anyone wants to use it, they just uh, retrieve it from the library. So I'm going to say no for now. And now I have my data function ready to go. So when I mark something, the data function is going to, to run, but I'm not going to see anything because now it's going to produce a data table. So, well, let's give it a try. I'm going to select uh, some uh, points on my map. The data function is running. You can see here on the bottom, I can click to see the status. It's running the data function and is going to create a data table. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to see my data table and uh, this is the one of the layers where all my data points are and the generated data table from that data function you can see here the function of the data table is here and it created the polygon so now let's add this data table to my map i'm going to close that for now and add add that data table it's going to be a polygon layer marker polygon layer and now I'm going to do some settings. I'm going to look at the settings from the, so we have a marker by row number, okay. So marker by row number. Okay, what else? A line connection, draw order. Okay, 
Okay. And uh, let's see how it, how it works. And then um, maybe the size, I want to make it smaller. Close, close. And now you can see the boundary. So if I select something else, now it's working as it's supposed to. And that's it. Now, um, hope you like the video and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next quick tip video.